Pretty dance Italy and hi guys! In this video I would like to share with you my recent work. I have made few VFX shots for the most famous Russian rap stars. And if I say rap stars, I really mean it. So let me show you. As you can see, the amount of views and followers they get is insane. Ever since I started to listen to Russian rap, I always wanted to work either for Morgenstern or LJ. In this music video, there are both of them. Yeah, so finally I can cross off another item in my bucket list. Yes! Cool. Let me show you that VFX shots now. I know that the shots have like 5 seconds each, but oh boy, let me tell you those 5 seconds were difficult. As you might guess, it's never that easy and this is like version number 26 and let me show you the first one, so just you can understand a bit. This is the first version of the render I made, just to get started. At this point there were three main challenges. First one was the transition from the Morgenstern's house, second one was to make photorealistic city, and the third one was to make transition to the second house. I mean the, transition. I mean the, transition. the first challenge was to make a seamless transition from the Morgenstern, and as there was no movement back in the original footage, I had to make everything around so it fits. I made two screenshots of the Morgenstern from the original footage the body and also the legs, which then I connected together to get the full body. I had to fill few parts of the body with a brush and also cut out the background. I projected the picture on a plate, adjusted the geometry a bit and by using shape keys I also animated his legs. And with a similar process I also remade the house. I made the furniture from the simple objects and projected the screenshots from the footage as a texture. Here you can see a difference between the 3D scene and the original footage. To build the city I obviously needed bunch of building models, so I had to find a good and affordable ones, import them all to the scene, check them, optimize them, prepare them, and some of them had prepared the night windows, and for those which didn't I had to use this add-on from Blender Market and prepare the interiors for them. And it's getting pretty hard to explain everything, so let's just jump into the scene and look at some stuff. Here are some cars in potato quality, which is exactly what I needed for this scene. You can see how I faked the light with the texture. This is the traffic system I made with geometry nodes, super simple, super optimized. You can just grab it like this and move it, just look at the amount of the cars, it's insane. I used AI, specifically mid journey, to generate some billboards to fill up the scene. For the city lamps I used the same trick with the texture as for the car lights. This boat wake is also faked with a texture. Have you ever seen a crane like this? There is a lot of trees because they always help to cover the empty spots. But to get to the final result I had to experiment a lot with different layouts and different lighting. Here is an older version of a render with a bigger city and slower camera, which I like actually because at least you have more time to see my city. <laughs> and I kept actually making the city bigger and bigger and they forgot to tell me that director decided that we need a smaller city. <laughs> So here you can see a smaller city, I had to remake it. And here is the final result. If you work in Blender like I do, this might be interesting for you. While working on this project, I had to spend a lot of time optimizing the scene and downscaling the textures so the scene can fit to the VRAM of my GPU. I actually even bought RTX 4090 so I can get the 24GB of VRAM, so I don't have to worry about that so much. But recently Polygonic released this add-on that does this for you. This add-on literally looks at your scene and decides what texture resolution is needed for each object. So just you don't have some small rock in your scene which has like 10cm and has 4K roughness, 4K normal map and 4K base color <laughs> which takes a lot of VRAM absolutely uselessly. There is also this feature that estimates the VRAM usage of each texture and object, so you can just easily find the culprit of your scene. I actually worked for Polygonic for about 2 years, so I helped to develop a lot of these add-ons. I made for example a lot of vehicles for the traffic. 
I use Botanic and Materialic in most of my scenes and I don't even know how to handle my renders anymore without a render set. So if that sounds interesting to you, check the add-ons through the links in the description. Yeah, I tear the roof up off this business. To make this roof transition, we first needed to do the camera tracking. This is the original footage, which has to be first undistorted as you can see here and only after that you can start the camera tracking. The music video is shot on old film camera, which is amazing, but it also produces more noise, which makes the camera tracking much harder. If you look closely on the camera track, you can notice that it's not completely perfect, so I had to do a lot of manual adjustment to improve it. For the roof transition, I had to again experiment a lot. You can see here that I tried few different versions, but I just wasn't satisfied at all, it, it didn't look good. And then I was thinking that maybe if I made a construction like there is in reality and made a disassembly animation of it, that it could look cool. It started to look a bit better, I again tried few different versions, but it still wasn't looking very nice. And then I thought I have to make some different way of disappearing. So I asked my personal art director, aka my girlfriend, and she said, Maybe do it like in the Harry Potter movie, when the Hagrid taps the wall and the bricks move away. So I did that and it looked cool. This is the final version and it works. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and that you learned. I would love to go deeper and explain to you more details about the process, but this making of video could easily take me more time than actually working on the shots themselves. Which probably already happened because I am still new to this YouTube stuff and these videos take me a lot of time. I make a lot of different animations, so if you are looking for somebody for your project, you can check my website and see the quality and range of my work. If you like this video, you can subscribe to this channel or follow me on Instagram. Thank you again for watching and see you next time.